we'd like to welcome you, and we hope you will enjoy the music.
We can't seem to get her to understand what Christmas is all about. Hmm, that's too bad. Hey, mister, what are you doing? My name's Peter, but you can call me Pete. Now, what were you asking me? What are you doing? What do you mean? Why are you looking into that car here? I'm just looking for my opportunity. Your what? My opportunity. Have you seen it? No. Well, I guess I'd better explain myself.
Carey. Christmas means sharing. Remember, you get to Christmas by opening your heart and sharing the love of Jesus. I think you found your opportunity. Randy, I asked if Karen is our surprise. Well, yes, Carrie, she is. Well, I think she's the best surprise ever. Really? You're my opportunity, Karen, to show you what God has done in the sky, to light the way to the wonderful birth, to show his love for us. Merry Christmas, Karen. <laughs>
we were without hope and we were lost, God sent His Son to come into the world uh, to be our Savior and our Redeemer so that we could be adopted into His family, just as uh, uh, Karen did. Karen was adopted uh, into the family here, uh, and they took her in to celebrate Christmas with her. And so we have the opportunity to share God's love, but only because He, first of all, shared His love with us. And I would just like to say, if you're here tonight, and you have never invited Christ into your heart, you've never been born again into His kingdom, um, there are some little booklets uh, just to the right as you go out. Uh, there's a window ledge uh, uh, for the window that's coming into the auditorium. There's some little booklets there called The Real Purpose of Life. And if you would like to know what it means to actually invite Christ into your life, to be born again into His kingdom, to be adopted into His family, and to be redeemed, uh, just pick up one of those booklets and they'll explain it. Uh, talk to one of those that are helping tonight, and myself would be glad to share with you how you can personally know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And so, once again, we want to say thank you, young people, for all your hard work. We really appreciate it. Uh, there are cookies and uh, refreshments in the fellowship hall that's right across the courtyard uh, from this building. Just go out that door and right across the courtyard. And we would like to invite you over there for some fellowship. Just to stay and stick around. Thank you, grandmas and grandpas, fans and uncles. Ah, Mr. Short has a presentation to make. Mr. Short, or should I call you Mr. What's your name? Madeline. Okay. Um, I'd like to thank Mrs. Sherwood for all the hard work she's put into our play. Let's uh, close in prayer, okay? Father, what a wonderful privilege it is for us to know the genuine meaning behind Christmas. That you have expressed your love. That God um, was be willing to become flesh. That your Son was willing to take on a human form so that we could understand and so that we could see what your love was really like. So that we could actually know the presence and the power of uh, your Son living in our lives. Father, we thank you for all that you have done for us. And we thank you for these young people who know the meaning of Christmas and have shared it with us tonight. And I pray that through this week, you would give to each one of them in their schools and in their contacts with their friends and neighbors and their family uh, further opportunities to share the good news. And I pray that for each of us as we go from here tonight, that we might think of opportunities we would have to maybe go caroling uh, to a neighbor family, uh, to just get some cookies or uh, refreshments or cake together and take it over to a shut-in, that you would touch each of our hearts in a way that we can reach out and find the opportunities to share the love of Christ with others. And we'll give you the praise as you work. Thank you for all the families that have come tonight to be with us and just bless them and keep them safe as well on their way home this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember to join us in the fellowship hall right across the way. Thank you.